Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. No, that is not a pickup truck. We are finally reviewing snowmobiles here on the channel and you can probably tell I'm so excited to get underway. So today we are looking at the brand new 2021 Yamaha or Yamaha SX Venom. Now this Venom right here is a brand new entry level sled from Yamaha. They want to get new people into this sport and I want to show you everything about it. So in this video, we're going to go hit some powder, ride some trails, and then head out on the lake and do a top speed run and see how this thing does. Look at the features here, or lack thereof, although you might be surprised what's on this sled. So starting at the back, you get this nice section here, although there's no rails, no quick connect system, nothing like that. A very basic seat, but then we move up here. You do get these very simple toggle switches, but you actually get a heated thumb grip, heated handlebars, reverse, which is a big deal on this basic sled, and high beams. Now the other things that come standard on the Venom, electric start, and it is liquid cooled. So you know what? There was a time when you bought a very basic snowmobile, you didn't expect any of that stuff to be on there. But nowadays, even if you're going to this bottom end of the market, you're still getting all of those basic amenities. Powering this Venom is a 400cc two-stroke single cylinder engine that makes about 65 horsepower. Now let's go over some other numbers as well. When you're talking suspension travel, the rear end of this sled has 10.7 inches, the front end you're getting 7.2 inches, while the track measures in at 14 by 121 by 1 inch. Now if you are thinking this sled looks like the new Arctic Cat Blast, well that's because it basically is one. Arctic Cat and Yamaha developed this sled together, although there's some small differences such as the windshield, the color and graphics, as well as the skis, shocks, and clutch calibration setup. Something I love on basic machines are just kind of fun features, and in this case, it's fun styling. I think this thing just looks kind of plucky and ready to go. Plus, it gets this beautiful blue and that kind of light blue accents. I think it looks pretty sharp, and when you're buying a machine like this, look, it's a toy, so why not make it a fun toy color? That's why I love this blue. And look, even the skis are color matched. Yamaha even added those blue skis in there. That's a cool little touch. So this sled, and you might actually have already figured this out just looking at it compared to me, Yamaha calls this a 7 8 snowmobile, so just one tick smaller than sort of a typical sled. And what they say is that this Venom is for either a new rider, a younger rider, or maybe someone returning to snowmobiling, someone who hasn't done it for many years. So they're kind of going after a different market than normal. They're not going after the hardcore guys, they're going after new sledders. Um, but how is it actually going to work? Well, why don't we go for a ride now and I'll show you. When you jump on this Venom and take off, for sure the most prominent feature is its weight, or again, lack thereof. This thing is super light. I mean, check it out. It takes nothing at all to roll it over on its side. In fact, I was out there carving through some powder and I was kind of laying it down and I laid it down a little too far and I came right off the side. It does carve quite well, but sometimes you bury it. Luckily, all I had to do was stand up, throw it back on its skis, and take off because it's so lightweight, it's so easy to do that by yourself. Now, the lightweight aspect makes it so fun and absolutely makes it float through the powder, but it also means you're getting thrown around quite a bit. And then there's the other aspect here, which is the suspension. So we've just got out here. I went down the first trail and I thought to myself, oh, I bottomed that thing out, it must have been a big bump. Oh, I bottomed it out, it must have been a big bump. And then I came back and I went, well, I'm the lightest of the two Elmer brothers here and I can still bottom this out just by pushing on it. So I think before we go for our big ride this afternoon, we're gonna uh, get this thing up and we're gonna adjust the suspension, make it a little more ready for us. <laughs> So we cranked it up to the stiffest setting and I mean, I can't bottom it out with one foot anymore. Now, I could still do it. You gotta really try now though. This sled is not made for me. <laughs> 
still, I'm curious to see how it is at its stiffest now. Could be better. Let's go riding. So when you combine the lightweight with kind of the lack of suspension travel, this thing's like riding a little firecracker. It's just jumping around all over the trail. When you're hitting whoops, you're bottoming it out, the back end's coming right up. It's again, it's a funny way of looking at it because it's really fun to ride because it's so exciting. But I have to say that after two hours, I'm kind of done. This is not the sort of sled you want to do a six hour day on out on the trails just because it kind of beats you up. It doesn't offer you that comfort. Um, tons of fun, but definitely not a long distance trail runner. Now I should preface all that by saying I'm heavy, okay? I'm not exactly the guy that this machine was meant for. Again, someone lighter, younger probably, would be much more suited to this little Venom. But even a heavy guy, I think the important story I want to tell you is that this sled went everywhere today. I was out breaking trail on the Hydroline in tons of powder snow, and I never got stuck. I never even really felt like I was going to get stuck. So again, this sled will go a lot of places and do things. It's just not going to do it with the same amount of comfort and overall, you know, speed that you're going to get out of a lot of the other larger Yamaha sleds. So it might be that kind of 7 8 smaller size, but honestly, out here on the trails, you're going to be able to keep up with your buddy's bigger sleds with this Venom. Where you're probably going to get left behind is on the lake. And let's go out there right now and do a top speed run to see how it does. Okay folks, time for a top speed run here on the Venom. Now I'm going to use that existing trail because in the powder, I'm not going to go nearly as quick. I'm out here on the lake. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can get out of here. Here we go. you saw it there I think the fastest I saw was about 90 kilometers an hour I want to cut in right here and just really quickly let you know that the day after we were out on the lake I was out on some groomed trails and I did manage to hit 101 kilometers an hour here on the venom and once again of course someone lighter is gonna go even quicker than that now you know what the top speed is on this venom when it does come time to get aggressive, there's a bit of a rise on these handlebars, and even when I get all the way up, I can still reach them. But again, this isn't an uber aggressive sled, right? Now, I think what we have to arrive at, because easily the most important part of this snowmobile is its price. I keep mentioning it's very affordable. Well, how affordable? In the United States, $8,000 is gonna buy you one of these Venoms. Here in Canada, we're talking about ten and a half thousand dollars And uh, I, I think we have to look at what Sea-Doo did with the Spark in the PWC world. PWCs were getting big, heavy, fast, but expensive. And then Sea-Doo came in and said, hey, wait a second, here's a basic model for less than $10,000. And people started snapping them up like crazy and i just appreciate the fact that yamaha is servicing this end of the market well folks our day with the venom here is done so what's the verdict well for the money this thing is an absolute blast to ride it's so lightweight you can just throw it around now for a seasoned rider you probably don't want to go out and spend eight hours on the trail on this machine but honestly if you are young or if you are looking to learn snowmobiling i don't think there's a better unit than this venom right here so folks, that's it for this video. Please now go below, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about snowmobiles here on the Trucking YouTube channel. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to Trucking to see what we're testing next. But right now, I got lots more riding to do. So see ya.